Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, back at it with another video. And uh, today I wanna go through a couple things with how to get all your front accessories done if you're gonna use the uh, truck accessories with the LS1 intake. Uh, a lot of people were having problems with this because uh, you know the water pumps in the way uh, you know with, with the um, the truck accessories water pump the Outlet for the water pump is actually up here Instead of you know down here where this one's at and if you know notice the bracket on this is now shortened uh, to get the LS1 intake uh, mounted with the uh, With the truck accessories on it uh, the only thing I won't be covering today is your air conditioning. Uh, that's just that's going to be a whole other video. Uh, this is just to get your car running and driving, your alternator, your power steering pump, uh, you know, your water pump, and your crank. That's it. So I'm going to go over everything you need to do. Which there's there's six things total um, uh, to to change, and buy, and or do. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to notch the bracket that holds the alternator. It comes out about an inch and a half farther than what it is right now. So what you're going to want to do is cut that smooth, basically flat right with the edge of the alternator. As you can see, that goes up and down right there. Once you cut that off all the way from front to back, you'll be able to get your uh, LS1 intake, LS6 intake, or whatever intake you're using that's lower than your truck intake uh, in there. And uh, the second thing you're going to do is get rid of the truck water pump. You can keep the water pump. Uh, I've seen, if you're going to do it that way, I've seen some people actually keep the truck water pump and uh, take the tube out of this and drill it a hole through the front and, and, and just a whole lot of uh, just rigging it up but I, I I just thought it'd be easier just to go ahead and change it out for the the car uh, F body uh, water pump that way if anything ever happens in the future all you gotta do is just go and buy a cheap water pump you know and swap it out it'll you know bolt right back up I won't have to get another truck one and do all that drilling and it's it it's just a mess so what you're going to want to do is you're going to buy a 98 to 02 F body uh, Camaro water pump. And actually I wrote it down the part number and where I got it from, which was eBay. And I paid $62 and 69 cents for the 98 to 02 F body water pump. Um, I'm going to put this paper out here right now. And like it says, I got it from eBay. The part number is G7270. And that was from Tom's Auto Parts on eBay. They had that in stock. I know it's a weird price, 62, 69, but that's, that's what it was. Um, it was free shipping, got it to the house and it came with, yeah, it did. It came with all the um, water pump, uh, the bolts and the, um, oh, the, the new, um, seals so yeah it came with the new bolts the new seals I, wonder, I was trying to think i thought it came with something else too but maybe maybe that was something else i was thinking about but um yeah so for your water pump go on to ebay or you know you can go wherever you want but me that's the cheapest i found it so that's that's where i got it now in order for you to mount that water pump which you're going to buy off ebay for it, for it to work on here, so because the 98 to 02 F body, the Camaro water pump sits back about, I think it's three quarters of an inch farther than the truck water pump. So you're going to need to buy, the second thing you're going to need to buy is, see that spacer right there? There's two spacers and they'll come with new bolts, extended bolts, and you'll get those um, off of eBay as well. I have the paperwork right here for that as well. And I actually went with the Dirty Dingo ones. They were $49.99, uh, free shipping. Uh, as you can see, they came to $53.61. And the item number is right there, DDLSWPSP1. Those are the spacers you're going to need to use the F-Body water pump on the... Uh, 
you know, 4.8, 5.3, 6.0, pretty much any, any of these LS engines with the LS1 intake and using the truck accessory. So you're gonna use those spacers. Okay, so that's three steps down. So you got the, you gotta cut the bracket, get the water pump, get the water pump spacers. The third thing is you're gonna to need to get the idler relocation bracket. That idler pulley right there is your original idler pulley that comes with the 4.8, 5.3, and 6.0. As you can see, that is not the original location of it, but that's what you're gonna to need to do. This bracket that you see right here with these two bolts going through it, is what you're gonna to need to bolt that idler pulley uh, where it's at to get you know your uh, your new water pump mounted and working correctly. So I also got, let me see, I, yeah, I did. I got that off of eBay as well. And I actually ordered that from a company called Street Rays and it was $18.95. I think that was it. Yeah, $18.95 out the door. Um, the part number is SRLS Idler Reloc R E L O C dash P two, uh, yeah. So yeah, get that from uh, Street Rays or whoever else you want. But that was the cheapest I can find it, and that was with free shipping. Um, so that'll get your idler pulley mounted over there. And the last main accessory part you're going to need to get is the ninety eight to O two um, tensioner. That's for the F body as well. That's the 98 to 02 Camaro belt tensioner. And I got it from eBay as well. The part number is 12560344. I got it for $26.24 with free shipping. And that was from Car Parts Wholesale. That was the name of the company on eBay. And uh, that was the last part that I needed to get everything bolted up and, and uh, use my truck accessories. Once you get everything done, you're going to need to get a new belt. And it took me a few tries to get the right belt, but I um, ended up going to AutoZone and getting the belt that I needed. And it was 980K6, which I believe is uh, the 98-inch uh, belt, which is, and then it has six, six grooves on it. So that's what the K6 stands for, the, the six grooves. And uh, once you get that belt, all of your accessories will be mounted and usable. Uh, your, your water pump will be sitting where it's supposed to be. As you can see from a side view, it's everything lines up great. I've ran and drove this car already. Uh, the power steering pump, everything works the way it should, alternator. But yeah, that's everything you're going to want to do to get your um, truck accessories to work with an LS1 intake. And mine is in a 96 Chevy Caprice. So this is uh, not only for all the 94 to 96 B bodies, but pretty much any vehicle you buy or you know have that you're gonna do an LS swap to and use the truck accessories and that LS1 intake so that you can use the F body uh, water pump. So it's not you know messing with your throttle body here. So yeah, if, uh, if anybody has any other questions, uh, let me know down in the comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going to keep making these videos. I have, a, I think I've got about 10 more to go. Um, I'm going to do one on the motor mounts, oil pan, um, the transmission lines, um, the transmission cross member. And there's, there's a whole lot of them I'm going to use or go ahead and make so you know everybody has it and then also for this 96 uh, caprice the 94 to 96 b bodies uh i'm gonna put all the part numbers up for the radiator uh and all the coolant hoses that you know you need to use because there's there's been a lot of people using different radiator hoses that just don't fit correctly and i've went through a lot of them to find out which ones fit the best so i'll go ahead and post that video soon as well but as for now um, this video is done. So if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and let me know. All right, guys, peace out.